Salt it, sand it, plow it. Mix in some de-icing fluid, then repeat. Every year, snow and ice control costs U.S. government agencies $2.3 billion. We're outside the downtown area of Holland. We're out at the state park. The roads, as you can see, forget about it. On Lake Michigan's eastern shore, Holland averages nearly six feet of annual snowfall. But something's different here. We're saving tens of thousands of dollars a year in not having to plow the main streets downtown. Holland, Michigan is home to the nation's largest publicly owned snowmelt system. It works by using the waste heat from our power plant. We generate our own electricity here in Holland. And after we run the turbines, we pump that waste water through 190 miles of little orange tubing that runs up and down underneath the streets and the sidewalks, heats it up just enough that we can melt one inch of snow an hour at 20 degrees. Inspired by a visit to Europe, Holland's downtown snowmelt got off to a skeptical start in 1988. Initially, it was thought of as a crazy idea of a folly, but as the years have gone by, we can't imagine living without it here. We have now 670,000 square feet of street and sidewalk that are heated. We like to consider our snowmelt system a green system because what we're doing is we're using energy that would have gone to waste, but also what it's doing is it's reducing the amount of fossil fuels that we're using in our snow plows. Downsides include the initial cost and few towns have their own power plant. But with 70% of the nation receiving more than five inches of snow every year, public snowmelt systems like this could be a long-term money-saving solution for some places. Plus, nobody's slipping, nobody's falling, everybody's enjoying it, and it makes for a great shopping experience all winter in a city that gets generally about 70 inches of snow a year.